The last boss is Echo of Doragosa, or Echo for short. She will occasionally cast Power Vacuum, so get away from her when she does. At 100 energy, she will cast Astral Breath, another facial, I mean, conal ability. Also, the boss will randomly cast Arcane Missiles on the target, so healers, be vigilant. Also, use personal defensives when Energy Bomb is cast on you. The big mechanic in this boss fight is Overwhelming Power, which is technically a debuff, but increases your damage by 5% per stack. This debuff is applied every time you get a hit by any of Echo's previously mentioned abilities. However, at 4 stacks, the debuff is cleared, but an Arcane Rift is spawned, which is a very, very bad area to stand in, but it also occasionally releases uncontrolled energy. As a party, well, mainly DPS, you have to find a balance of overwhelming power debuff stacks on you throughout the fight. I would recommend two applications for DPS, unless you are trying to top the meters. In that case, keep three stacks at all times and blame the healer, especially if it's a fucking holy pally, if you wipe due to the lack of caring about the mechanics of this boss fight. And that's it. Is there anything I missed? Do you want more Mythic Dungeon guides? Leave a comment down in the section below and don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more original Toxic and Dragonflight content. And as always, happy gaslighting. Oh, whoops, that's a portal. No bueno, get away from me, Brad. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Does that have any mechanics? What the a hell? A puzzle that's box. Easy. Ooh, can I have that? If you guys found that boss guide to be informational, do me a favor, hit like, hit subscribe for more original Dragonflight content and other tutorials. Thanks.